What is up guys, it's Jimbo here and welcome back to another Tiny Tina Wonderland video. Today's video we're going to be starting off our legendary showcase. This is where we go through different legendaries in the game and we talk about what they do, where to find them and how cool they are. But before we jump into today's video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell. Check all the links in the description for my socials. So... The first weapon we're going to be talking about is the Snake Stick of the Crusher. This is a melee weapon, and if you want to know where to be able to farm this, you need to go to the Warg to Shallows and go to the Ancient Obelisk. This drops from the Great White Boss, and in order to farm this, you need to go to the overall area, defeat the boss, and hopefully you'll get a drop for it. And then if you save and quit, and reload the checkpoint you'll be able to do the obelisk again and you essentially rinse repeat until you hopefully get it to drop now the drop rate will be increased if you have higher loot luck so go and get all the different dices and also make sure that you head throughout the entire campaign and go back and do this i just got this as a random drop when i was just playing through the story but let's talk about the state stick of the crusher the first cool thing about this weapon is that it has really high critical damage at 140%. Now I am playing a strength build at this present moment in time, which means I get more crit damage on top of more crit damage. But the overall damage of the weapon isn't too bad. It's all of the effects that add on top of things. So we do have my new thing is now Snake Jazz or my new thing. Yeah, it's now Snake Jazz. It has a minus 15% attack speed. It has plus 10% critical chance, and it has plus 40% critical damage. And it's also very, very good against flesh. Against other things, it's not so good, but if you're in an area with high flesh enemies, then you're going to be able to smash through this. Snake Stick is a really cool perk because it basically allows you to spawn a Hydra companion every single time that you connect with a melee attack, and it also deals melee damage for six seconds so if you do have your berserk active i believe this also does a lot of damage there as well and especially when you're a melee character you're going to be able to do a bunch of damage there adding on top of that we also have rampage melee attacks increase your melee critical chance by 7.9 percent on every hit until a melee critical hit occurs and then it resets the bonus this thing absolutely chunks through enemies if you combine it with the Berserker, like I have been using, and the uh, Claw Strider or Claw Rider, the um, subclass that I've been using, or the class that I've been using. And this is just insane. I'm able to do a bunch of melee damage. I'm also able to throw out a bunch of the different Hydra companions. And it's just absolute chaos. You'll be able to see in some of the gameplay clips that we have of it. It's just nuts. I'm just hitting red crits all the time, and I'm able to chunk through enemies. And I'm sure later in the game when I get into the level 40 region and I'm able to get some other things that stack well with this, I'm going to be able to do so much damage that it's going to be unreal. Now, this is just going to be the first of the legendaries that I show off. The uh, Snake Stick of the Crusher is pretty fun. I have enjoyed using it so far. And I'm going to try and show off as many of the legendaries as I can and just go over my thoughts on them. I think this is going to be a very, very fun melee weapon to use. And the cool thing about this as well is it does have an 8% chance to do 33 per, uh, damage for fire. Fire is very good against flesh, which is very good. So you're going to be wanting to do that as well. But hopefully you get yourself a, a snake stick of the crusher. I don't know what the drop rate is. I've not really farmed too much of it. I did like two or three of these after I actually had it drop. I got this on my first run, which was fantastic. But yeah, go and get this if you can. There's probably other... Uh, better melee weapons in the game that i don't know about yet because i'm only just getting through uh, all of this stuff so if there is any that you want me to do a showcase on please leave them down in the comment section down below but if you enjoyed this video and it has been helpful make sure you like on it subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bell check all the links out in the description down below and hopefully you're enjoying tiny tina's wonderlands but it's been it's jimbo and i'll see you guys next time